Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we can host a static web with Azure App Services. In earlier video, we have seen how we can host a static web app with Azure Storage that is limited version. Now we can see full blown app services and how we can host a static web app and how we can do CI CD from Azure DevOps. Let's start the demo. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and we are inside a software demo resource group. Now let's go ahead and click on create. Let's search as a static web app. Once we search results comes, we can see that option for a static web app. Let's click on that. Let's click on create. And let's put as name for a static web app. And in compare section, we can see the details about uh, plans and in free and standard in a standard, we have to pay $9 per month per app. And in free, we can have uh, free till two per app custom domain and some of the things we cannot have into free custom authentication and private endpoint is not there inside free. So depending upon our need, we can choose that one for this demo. I'm going to use free one. So once I select, I have to provide the deployment details. Where is the source is going to come? We can have GitHub, we can have Azure DevOps, we can have others. So I do have Azure DevOps. So I'm going to select this where my organization name is there. I have a repo, uh, I have project, I have a repository, and then I have branch. Then we have to provide which build preset uh, is there. So which framework for static web page we are going to use either Angular, Blazor, Next.js, React, or gets by Hugo, Vuepress. These are the, the static site generators or custom is other. And depending upon that, uh, Azure, uh, this code will generate a YML file uh, and put into our DevOps repo so that build and release is going to happen. So we can choose right now for React, but uh, an app location depending upon we can put that one or either if we put HTML also the this is the same thing and it based on preset it will detect that one what is that uh, into code or in YML file and it, it will deploy that so if we try to choose next JS then output should be this folder or if we choose angular also this is how it app name should look like all these details is provided based on this selection so let's go with react and let's move to next tagging tags are generally used for categorized resources and consolidate uh, to see in the billing and other things so let's go next and review this let's click on create to create this resource so now deployment has been complete let's go to this resource and if we browse this resource this is right now our url and if we browse this resource this is static web page is live and waiting for our content and if we go into more details because we do not have custom domain setup so this is what domain right now it looks like and if we go in details we can see that this is connected to main devops and what devops pipeline is ran and other details so we can go inside our repo and we can now see that one static uh, web app uh, yml file came and yml is for our pipeline which is going to build and deploy this and it might have tried when it is done so let's see that if anything has there into pipeline so if we go uh, we have this one pipeline and it is failed right now it will let's see what it says that so error is that it is not able to detect the language from repo neither it is able to detect any valid files like index.html or any other thing so and then let's go ahead and add one file mode inside any branch let me create one branch i will go ahead and and i will create one file over here and i will say index.html i'm going to commit this 
and I'm going to raise a pull request to push into main. I'm going to complete it. And then I'm going to trigger, it is automatically anyway triggered based on policy. Let's go and see what it does now. So now it is checking out our from main. It is going to build and deploy that file. It still did not find the language from repo. It is not able to determine, but it got whatever basic file is there. So let's see if it is going to deploy. It is going to uh, finish the upload part. So it is successful and now post is done. Now let's go back to our this page and let's refresh this page. So now we can see that our page came. If you want to make any changes also, let's go back and in once again back to our branch, our user branch and we can go. Let's see that. Okay, because uh, PR once we created the PR, it got deleted. So let me do one more time. Okay. And now I'm going to update this file. Hello V2. Okay, let me edit that. Hello V2. And I'm going to commit this file. Now I'm going to once again raise the PR. And let me raise this PR. Let me complete this. Because right now I do not have policies and other things set up on this plan. So that's how I can do that and now if we go into our pipeline section it has triggered right now or it is running right now let's wait for that and let's go more details same thing it is going to do so in static pages generally we can deploy angular react blazor all this uh, related code is publication where generally api will be called but it the pages and other things will be kind of static right so right now it is in progress deployment. So now it is deployed. Let's go and replace this page and we can see B2. So that is how anyway CI CD also works. Once we do the check-ins also, it will come and it will deploy everything. And if we go in to see that it will detect to read that place itself to see the different runs over there, how many runs it has been. So after that one, if you want to configure any um, custom domains, right now this domain we can see, uh, we can go ahead and custom domain either we can bring from Azure DNS or uh, from other DNS provider we can also add api if, if you wanted to call any api and what is the endpoint and links or details for that one so that we can do other environments can be also added right now it is production right now preview um, environment where we have to pull request we deploy and check that one so that is what we can do multiple details around there what is the hosting plan we have if you want to change that one we can go ahead and do that uh, if we wanted to plan uh, into private endpoint, then we can go ahead and update that and do that. And it is very easy to create this static app. Into so this is what I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.